ejemplo, guys. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hi there. Thank you so much for connecting Pablo, Joanna, Vladimir, Imelda, Daisy, and Jani. Don't forget to put your full name, Jani and Vladimir. Full names, okay? It says only Jenny Gutierrez and Vladimir Rodriguez. And it should say your complete name over there. Deberíamos tener su nombrecito completo, chicos. Okay? So I need you to do that for me. Okay, so let's start with our class today. Right, tell me if you have questions about what we did yesterday. We did a lot of activities yesterday. We practiced the monthly pronouns. We're gonna see that in a moment as well, right? But I would like to know if you have any questions. No questions? No questions, okay. Now, if we don't have questions, I want you to tell me, what did you learn yesterday? What are some things that you remember from yesterday's class? Let's see. Uh, Carla. Hello, teacher. Uh, Hello. La clase anterior, pues. Uh, this class, uh, the previous class was about. Uh, and it's. Memo Hanna. No se podría decir. Mm -hmm. Vocabulary practice and uh, it will with okay well not el, okay. and I'm como le podría La estructuración de cómo uno puede hacer una compra en línea. Ok, how, how we make the process right, of an online purchase. Right. Very good. Thank you. Anna. What else? El does, el this, el that. This. Okay, there you go. How to use this and that's perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we are going to work right now. Right. Thank you, Carla. Tell me, Pablo. Pablo, are you going to be oyente today or are you going to participate? Only I have oyente. To... Oyente. Okay, Señor Pablo. Wendy, Yanira, Carol. Y de ese canal, okay. Uh, so let's see, Joanna. Tell me two words that you learned yesterday. Two new words. Words. Mm -hmm. Um. I get over. A payment. Payment. Okay. Perfect. That's and, and submit. 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 Yes. Good. That's a good one. Very okay. good. Payment and submit. Excellent. Uh, what about you, Vladimir? Can you tell me something that you learned yesterday? Anything? 
Yes, uh, the use of the does y this in plural. Okay, very good. Can you give me one example? Uh, okay. Uh, those apples is, are green. Those apples are green. Very good. Those apples. Or these apples are red. Or these, these apples are red. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you so much, eh, Vladimir. So that's what we learned yesterday. And I rem if I remember well, I sent you a document, right? With some exercises for these and, and those and all that. So let me go ahead and access here, right? No, I'm gonna show you the other one. Da, 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 da. Okay. Okay, we're gonna check some of the answers. Can you see my computer right now, guys? Yes? Yes. Okay, so this is our grammar quiz. And we're going to be selecting the answers that we think are right, okay? And to do that, I will ask some of you to help me with the answers, okay? Now, I would like to start there with Vladimir. Vlad Vladimir, what do you have? Can you read number one and number two? Okay. Good Look evening. at this beer. Up there in the tree. This. Okay, in number two, we're going to check the answers in a moment. Okay, so don't worry. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, are those your books over there on the table? Okay, over there, over there. Over there. Very good, Vladimir, thank you so much. Now, three and four, three and four, Bernardo. My umbrella is right here. This is my umbrella. This is my umbrella. Okay. Oops. I think I got the other one. Give me a moment. This is my umbrella. Okay. Thank you, Bernardo. Okay. Give me a moment, Bernardo. We're going to continue with another student because we only have 14 questions. Thank you. Elena, do you have number four? Those apples are red, but these apples over here are green. Okay, this letter B or C? C. C, okay, thank you, Elena. Number five, Emerson. Yes, miss. Did you and your family stay at that hotel in Paris? At that hotel in Paris. Paris. Repeat, Paris. Paris. Thank you. Joanna, number six. Please come here and look at picture. Look uh, at, uh -huh. at that, that picture. That picture. Okay, thank you. Sara, number seven. Sara, I think she's not here. Okay, Tatiana, number seven. No, Tatiana? Uh, let's see. Who was, who was that man you talked to yesterday? Okay. Who was that man you talked to yesterday? Thank you. Now, Imelda, can you go with number eight? Imelda? No. Okay. Eduardo Franco, number eight. Can you see those fishing boats on the lake? Okay. 
those fishing boats on the lake. Thank you. Eugenia, go with number nine. Microphone. Hello, Dr. Smith. Could you please look at this cut on my finger? This cut on my finger. This cut on my finger. Very good. Thank you so much, Carla. Let's continue with Manuel, number 10. No subo en la clase de ayer, teacher. Okay, remember you can watch the class online. Eh, Noé, number 10. Maybe we should ask policemen for directions. Okay, which is the answer? That, these, or those? What do you think? Us. Okay. This. this is this. This. Okay. This. Thank you so much. Uh, Alexander, go with number 12. How many of. Uh, these cookies would you like? Mm -hmm. Continue. Read the example. Two. Okay. Uh, here you are. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Now, who is missing? Who is missing? Dun, dun, dun. Francisco Lopez, number 13. Uh, excuse me, teacher. Uh, number what? 14. Okay. Uh, Cake is delicious. When I finish it, could I please have another slide? Uh, the, um, the other B, A, this? This cake is, the, oh, look at that. How crazy is this book, right? This cake is delicious. Very good. Thank you so much. Now we have number 15. Who is missing? Who is missing? Luis Javier, number 15. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. Uh, Luis Javier, no, it's not here. Let's continue with Joanna. Tell me, Joanna, in 16, Carla Eugenia. Creo que tengo problemas con el audio. Okay. <laughs> Do you know uh, this person over there by the post office? This person over there by the post office? And 16, Eugenia. Do you think 16 grammar questions are easy or difficult? Do you think that C? That 16, okay. Yeah. That 16. Now, these are the answers that we are giving as a group. Right, that. But we're going to check. Remember, here it says that if you have 15 to 16, excellent, right? Excellent job. If you have 13 to 14, good, right? If it is 12 or less, we need to study more, right? So these are this is these are your answers. Now these are the answers that we should have. Please check on your book. Check on your exercise, right? Check on your exercises. How many answers do you have? And we're gonna check right now and why you have those answers there.
No sé por qué. Mm -hmm. Okay, don't worry, I will explain to you why. <laughs> okay. Okay, ready to check? How many answers do you have correct? 16, 15? How many answers do you have correct, Bernardo? Sixteen, teacher. Sixteen, nicely done. Excellent. Eduardo? Oh, so much love. Okay. Sixteen, sixteen. Sixteen, nice. Vladimir, Joanna, Elena, how many do you have? Fifteen. Fifteen, very good. Fourteen, fourteen. Fourteen, perfect. Joanna, Elena? Thirteen. Thirteen, perfect. Fifteen, teacher. Fifteen, Eugenia? Fifteen, teacher. Fifteen, excellent. And that's how we check, right? Alexander, how many do you have? No lo hice, teacher. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Emerson, how many do you have? 13. 13, very well. Now, I will explain to you why we have these answers, right? Now, this one right here, look at verbs up there in the tree. Now, this one is those verbs, right? This is the answer, right? Those verbs up there. Because when you're here on the ground, and you look at those trees, right? Usually we do this, right? Look at those birds up there. Are your, are, are those books over there on the table? Very good. My umbrella is right here. This is my umbrella. Those apples are red, but these apples over here are green. Very good, correct. Did you and your family stay at hotel in, in at that hotel in Paris? Very good. Please come here and look at this picture. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ven acá. Come here. Hey, come here. Right? And look at this picture. Right? Who was that man you talked to yesterday? Very good. Can you see? Those fishing boats, very well. Could you please look at this, very good. Maybe we should ask those policemen for directions, those. But it will depend on the location you are, being honest with you, right? Um, this was a difficult test, right? Oh, that was a difficult test. We had last week, how many of these cookies? That movie we saw last night, this cake. Do you know this person over there? Do you know that person over there? That, every time that you have this phrase, over there is far, right? Over there. Do you think, right, 16 is plural, right? Do you think these questions are easy or difficult? And that's how we go, right? Please tell me right now if you have questions. It's time to ask questions, please. So if you do, let me know. Check, check number 10, please. Number 10, yes. Maybe we should ask the, in this case, we can say those policemen or this policeman, but it will depend on the location that you are, right? For example, imagine that you are, I don't know, in Metrocentro, right? 
you are by las letras de metro, ¿viste las letras de metro? Okay, you are there, you say, oh, we should add those policemen over there, right? Those policemen, or maybe they are close to you, they are near, and you will use this. So that question is kind of ambiguous, right? It has like two possibilities. Yes. It will depend on the scenario. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the policeman is plural or singular? Oh, yes, thank you. Thank you. This is singular. Thank you so much. This is singular. Yes, in this case, that policeman. Okay. Thank you so much, Eduardo. Thank you. And I drank two cups of coffee. Can you believe that? Thank you, Eduardo. Right? Very good. So we're going to put here. Give me a moment. Give me a moment. That. That policeman, and this will be, the, this is singular. Thank you so much. Very good. Now, any other question, please? Thank you, Eduardo. Anybody else? No? Ask questions if you need to. Hagan preguntas, make questions. No questions. Everything is clear. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Miss, me está fallando el inter, pero estoy escuchando. Okay. Now we're going to continue here, right? We are, sorry. We are here, right? Yesterday we practiced with this exercise. Now we're going to practice with this, right? Now we're gonna do exercise number five, right? In number five, uh, can you read the instruction, Manuel, please? Exercise five. Okay, where are the correct uh, demonstrative pronoun? Very good. Write the correct demonstrative pronoun. Excellent. Right. And we are going to write it. We have here six small or micro conversations, right? These are micro conversations. So what you're going to do is just to choose the correct demonstrative pronoun. Remember, singulars and plurals, near and far, right? Let's start. Individually, please, individually. Did you finish?
Did you finish? Okay, are you ready? Hello? Yes. Okay, Vladimir is ready. Bernardo? Yes, is teacher. Okay. Well, ready? Thank you. Yes. First, we're going to put the answers in the, in, in the book, and then we're going to practice the pronunciation, right? Now, just let me go ahead and share here. Thank you so much. That's what it is. Sorry, guys. Now, let's see number one. Vladimir, what do you have? Do you want to buy, do you want to buy this tablet? This yes, tablet. I want to buy uh, the black one. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now, let's see number two, Bernardo. Can I see those jeans? Sure, what size? Very well. Uh, let's see number three, Joanna. Uh, my friend and I are interested on this makeup. Mm -hmm. Number four, please. Let's see, Elena. Did you bring did you bring those packages? Packages. Patch, yes, those I did. Packets. Those packets. Yes, I did. Very okay. good. Yes, I did. Number five, please. Eduardo. See, you can't and um, you can and um, this deed for sweater to the chart. Mm -hmm. Very well, thank you. And number six, let's see here, Eugenia. I have to go to buy those, those new books books at the library. Thank you so much. Very good. Those new books. Now, do you agree with these answers or do you, do you have something different? That's a lemonade. Mm -hmm. Do you agree? Do 
Do you have the same answers that here? And the number three, mm -hmm. I have that. That, yes, I agree with you. My friend and I, I are interested on that makeup, the small box, right? Very good, that. In this one, it is that. It's singular, right? But it's something that's not near, right? They are talking about something that's not close. Very good. And in the number four, I have that too. Mm -hmm. That package. Can you bring that package? Package is one, right? Like one box, right? That package is singular, right? Did you bring that package? In this, it could be both actually, that or this. So if you have this, it's this. possible too, right? Do you bring this package? Do you bring that package? Right? It could be both, right? Now it's singular and it could be dep depending on the position of person A. Now, we have those, this, very good, the sweaters, this tablet, right? Now, we are going to work right now with pronunciation, right? So, conversation number one, Joanna and Eduardo. Conversation number two, Carla and Jose, Jose Bernardo. Let's start. Do you want to buy this table? Yes, I want to buy the black one. Very good. Now let's repeat this word. Tablet. Okay, tablet. Tablet. Okay. Yes. Like in Spanish, tablet. Okay. Right. Okay. Thank okay. You. okay, number two. Can I see those jeans? Sure. What size? Sure, what size? Very good. Conversation number three. Vladimir and Emerson. My friend and I are interested on in that makeup. The smile box. Very well, thank you. Number four, Alexander and Elena. Did you bring that package? Yes, I did. Okay, let's repeat here, package. Package. Package, okay. very good. Number five. Let's see here. Who else? Noé? What is Noé? Noé, number five. Noé and Francisco. You can add these four sweaters to the chart. Continue. Con yeah, continue, Francisco. Yes. Uh, ¿Cuál era, teacher? Excuse Number me. five. Uh, okay, uh, but, but can I take two? But can I take two? Very good. And number six, Manuel. And Luis Javier. I have to go to buy those new book at delivery. I'm going with you. I'm going with you. Very good. Thank you so much, everyone. Right? Now we're going to move to the next activity. Now, look at what we're going to do here, right? For conversation number six. But before we continue, we're going to take the attendance, okay? One moment. One moment. We're going to make a conversation, but one moment. Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Alvarez. Daisy Elizabeth. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Present. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Un poquito de agua en el chat. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. 
Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present teacher. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Rodríguez Enríquez. Carol. Okay. Luis Javier Castillo. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Digaí López Portillo. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present Luis. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Ok. Teacher, perdón, este, me desconecté unos minutitos. Yanira Gutiérrez le saluda. Ok, thank you, Yanira. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to make sure. Carol is present. Tatiana, Luis. Ok, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Carol is here. Luis too. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy. Is, is Wendy here? Wendy, Wendy. No. Hello, hello. Me sí. escuchan. Yes. Yes. Okay, okay. okay, so before I continue, sé que van a estar de oyentes este día. Eh, Yanira, por cuestiones laborales, Carol igual. Yanira y Carol. Y Tatiana, y que le está fallando el internet. Eh, Pablo, ¿va a participar en clase? ¿O todavía le falla el internet? I'm going to participate. Eso, very good. Manuel, Francisco. ¿Qué? Francisco, ¿le está fallando el internet? No, miss. Eso, bye. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So we're going to continue right now. Right? We are going to create a conversation. Now, can you please help me out and read this instruction? Uh, Emerson? Yes, miss. Mm -hmm. Create a conversation with the partner. What is a customer and the others yeah. and agents? Pretend yeah. you want to order something online and you describe the agent to the product you are seeing in, on internet on internet very good and then we are going to present the conversation to the class right so now yesterday in the book we also saw a, a vocabulary for how to process a order online right we also have worked with demonstrative pronouns, with can and with going to. So right now, what the book is telling us is to create a short conversation, right? Where someone is a customer and another person is the, let's say, kind of like the teller or the, or the cashier that's there, but online. You know, when you're, when you're calling someone to make a purchase, and sometimes you can, you have to call, right? So what you're going to do is to have the conversation with that person and tell them what kind of item you want, right? And you make the short conversation. You don't have to make something big, but it has to be your conversation using the vocabulary and the grammar that we have practiced, okay? Now, is it clear what we're going to do? This activity is going to be in pairs, right? Va a ser en parejas. Las personas que están de oyentes se conectan a los grupos que los voy, a, los voy a, a poner porque aunque estén de oyentes tienen que practicar su listening. Si no, por gusto estamos conectados, ¿ok? Aunque no participen con sus compañeros, tienen que estar oyendo. So, por favor, denle click ahí. Ok, ok, ok. Okay, perfect. So let me just check right now. We're going to make our groups. Do not disconnect. Okay, 
here. We need someone else. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. One moment. Imelda, are you going to participate? Usted está participando, Imelda. Sí, verdad? Yo creo que no. No me escucho. Ok, vamos a ponerla por acá. Okay, so right now we have the groups. You're going to be in pairs. Please practice with your classmates. We're gonna have 10 minutes to complete the activity. Yo lo voy a estar yendo a escuchar, okay? Vamos, let's go. Click, click on your groups. Click on your group. Click on your group. Daisy, Imelda, and Javier, please click on your groups. Daisy, Imelda, Javier, por favor, denle click a su equipo. Teacher, eh, me he conectado dos veces. Tengo un desmadre aquí tecnológico. Esta, cree que la mete al grupo 7, que ya estoy desde la máquina. Vaya, permítame. Por favor. Hola, Joana. Hola, teacher. Nadie se conectó. Es que Javier ha estado veces. Permítame un momento, por favor. Que okay. Javier, ah, este niño, se conectó con dos computadoras y ahora no sé qué de su vida. Tiene dos personalidad. Entonces, a usted la voy a pasar, Joana, con el grupo de... Creo que lo va a pasar con el grupo de Elena y Pablo, ¿ok? Para que sea tres la conversación. En el grupo nueve. Que mi amor. Hoy sí, Javier. Creo que están de oyente los dos, este mismo. No, Javier, ahorita me acaba de decir que ya estaba participando, Javier. Eso creo que no. Javier, usted no me dijo que iba a estar de oyente. Bueno, Francisco, lo voy a poner en otro equipo porque ni modo, ese señorito me mintió. Ok, yes. Vámonos, voy a trabajar con un equipo de... Entonces acá. Hi there, Francisco is going to work with you, okay? Okay. Thank you, Miss. Usted puede proyectar para digitarla. ¿Cómo, cómo? Que si puede compartir pantalla. O lo hacemos en... Con Word para digitar la, la conversación. 
Uh -huh. Ok, permite. Voy a abrir Word. ¿Conocemos desde la pizarra? Ah, también. Ok. Así como la tenemos ensayada, ¿can I help you? Uh -huh. Can I help you? Uh -huh. Yes, I'm looking for a sweater. Can I, I watch in internet. Y se va a acordar de esa conversación después. Ahorita la vamos a anotar. Uh -huh. I don't know. 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 What flavor? Would you recommend me? You recommend me? Sí. No. Mend. E. N. D. 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 Sí, es con D. Así. Ah, sí, va. Recommend. Me. Me. Uh -huh. So, no, muy mal educado, soy de so. Well, I have. Ay, espérate vos. No, 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 está malo. Es... En internet no puedes comprar esos vete. Pues decir que sí. Me retiro. Digamos que es un delivery. Ah, oh, sí. No, lo cambiamos. O despedir del Sí, bueno, que hoy con lo de los delivery, sí. ¿no? Sí. Ah, sí, está bueno. Vale, Vamos a pedir direcciones y métodos de pago. Siete minutos. Bueno. Well, well, I have the. I have the flavor. Straw. Very. No, es que sí va. Dos oraciones, otro, la otra persona, tres. Este, uh, tenemos en oferta en... Ay, yo vi ahora en Walmart que ya pusieron en oferta que ya van a con sus cosas. Televisores. Sí, por lo del mundial. Y yo lo vi en 500, este, 500 cuánto. Um, quiero ver, Walmart. Más o menos, un dato más o menos real. Que estaba... Porque hoy ya son más caros que antes. Están aquí. Está. Que por lo del mundial. 
Están en 500. En 599. Dólares. Vale. Manuel. ¿Qué me tendría que decir? Vaya, bueno. Eh. Este... Algo así como que este es un muy buen precio. O sea, o sea. Me parece una muy buena oferta. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo es el proceso de compra? En línea. Uh -huh. Proceso online. Ajá. Online. Vaya, entonces vengo yo y le comienzo a decir. Ah, solo déjeme copiar esas que yo. Ay, sí. Tú. Carla. Este. No, no copie. Lo que voy a hacer es que. Eh, Vamos más después. Toque, le voy a, voy a, a poner esto para que lo vayamos leyendo juntos. Ah, va, ok, de acuerdo. Voy a compartir la pantalla y así lo vamos, lo vamos leyendo. De acuerdo. Va. Entonces le digo, el proceso es que le mandaría un link de Pau, Pau y se llama. Para que usted pueda proporcionar toda la información de su tarjeta y se va a poder creer para toda la información de su tarjeta y procesar el pago. Mister Ay, no se complique, eh, borre eso. ¿Cuál? O sea, cuando, cuando pegue ahí, solo dele clic derecho y dele clic en la A. Para que le copie el formato el que tiene actualmente, solo que sin el, sin el texto enriquecido. Ah, ok. okay. Mm. Va, sería esto, este proceso resguarda toda su información personal. En A, en A, en A, en A, en A. Pero es que... No, no, lo que pasa es de que, de que el, 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 donde tiene el puntero, usted tiene esa, esa fuente. Bueno, dele ahí. Dele ahí y hoy sombré ahí cualquier letra de arriba, de, de las chiquitas. De las pequeñas. Ajá. O ahora de ahí en la brochita. Y hoy copio lo hacia abajo. Dale para abajo, para abajo. Vaya, hoy cuando pegue tendría que ya aparecer normal. Baja, ese proceso and your personal information. Este. De ahí tengo que decirle yo también. A, al hacerse efectivo el pago. Le caerá un mensaje que la transacción fue hecha satisfactoriamente. Coloque en vez de caerá, recibirá. Al hacerse efectivo el pago, recibirá un mensaje. Recibirá un mensaje. 
un mensaje que la transacción fue hecha satisfactoriamente. Parece que era, no me parece. A veces efectivo el pago, eh, el pago le recibirá aquí, quite. O sea, si él le quite. Le. Ah, recibirá un pago, un mensaje. Eh, en su correo transacción. electrónico. En su correo electrónico. En su correo electrónico. Sobre la, la transacción. Sobre la transacción, nada ¿no? más. Y ya no, ya no, ya nos manda de regreso. Y no terminamos. Y ni Aquí en medio tampoco. lo voy a terminar. <risa> Solo lo vamos leyendo. Vaya. Vale. Hey there. We have some of you that already finished. Did everyone finish? Yes, I think so, right? Okay, Miss. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's wait for the others. Okay, so let's start right now. Let's see, um, Elena. Elena, can you give me a number from one to 21? Um, 10. Number, no, number 10 is, da, 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 da. <laughs> Jose Alexander Carvajal, you're number 10. <laughs> okay. Who is in your group, Jose? Franco Núñez y Tatiana. Mm -hmm. okay. Aquí vamos. Good. Empieza Franco. Perdón, perdón. Thank you, thank you for calling. My name is Franco. How can I help you? Hello, Franco. I'm Alex. I would like to buy a laptop. What model do you want to? I need a Dell Inspiron 5300. What color do you prefer? Black, please. Okay. I'm going to see the stock. Give me a moment, please. Sure, don't worry. Okay, I do have a black one. Perfect. How much does it cost? Uh, 100. Uh, Can I pay with my credit card? Yes, give you shipping address. Okay, I live in Avenida Mexico Avenue, Santiago Nanualco, La Paz. Oh, sorry. We don't ship to your direction. Okay, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, thank you so much, Jose and Eduardo. Very good. This is a very sad ending. Now, you're going to say 1500, right? You could say it in two different ways, okay? $1,500. $1,500 or you could say it like $1,500, $1,500, right? Both ways, both are fine, right? Thank you so much, everyone, right? Now, 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 Jose, give me another number. Six. Number six. Number six is Francisco Sanchez Lopez.
Who was with you, Francisco? Vladimir. Con Vladimir y Oscar. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. Hello. Welcome. Can I help you? No puedo verla. I don't remember. No puedo proyectar. ¿Cómo no? Juan, please. Okay. Okay. Hello. Welcome. Can I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a jeans inside 44. Let's see. Here's a nice black one. What do you think? I think I rather have it in blue. Okay. Here's blue in a uh, 34. Would you like to try it on? Okay, yes, I like it fit perfectly. How much is it? It's 15. It will be 53 with tax. Perfect, I'll take it. Finish, teacher. Thank you so much, right? Now, remember, a pair of jeans is a pair of jeans. Okay. Now, if you want to use just the word jeans, is plural, right? Even though it's one, aunque sea solo un pantalón, es plural. Okay, those jeans. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, who is next? Uh, Francisco, give me a number. And number four. Four. Elena, your group, now is your turn. <laughs> okay. Ready? Okay. I am ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. 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 <laughs> Hello. Hello, my name is Pablo Abrego. You are calling off the depot. How can I help you? Hi, Pablo. My name is Elena. I need information for the new laptop HP. Okay, Elena, give me a second while communicating with my parent, John Alfaro of the Salis Department. Hello, Elena. Greeting for the Office Depot Salis Department. You need information for new computer? Yes, please. What is the price and the specifications? The price is 700 iPad, a 14 inches, Core E7, 11 generation. Thanks the for your information, Miss. Oh. Finish. Finish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Says, thank you for the information. Now, from the sales department, from the sales department, change it. This is, this is Joanna of the sales department, right? From the sales department. For example, I am from the English teaching department. Okay, teacher. Right? Very good. Now, who is next, Joanna? Give me a number. Bernardo. Oh, Bernardo, okay. Bernardo, it's your turn. <laughs> okay, good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How can I help you? I, I would like an ice cream. Great. But the flavor you want, who would you like? I don't know. 
what flavor flavor would you recommend me? Well, I have the flavor the strawberry, mango, grape, and the napolitana. I would like a gallon of napolitana. Could you send it to Santa Ana number seven, please? Of course. What will be your payment met? I will pay cash. Okay. Will be 12.99. Okay, thanks. No problem. Just let me let me see the conversation. One moment, one moment. Okay, 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 okay. I would like ice cream. Remember, ice cream is uncountable. I would like ice cream. What flavor would you like? Don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What flavor would you recommend? In this case, what flavor would you recommend? Not me. Would you recommend me? No. What flavor would you recommend? Well, I have the, I have, well, I have a strawberry. Eliminate the flavor. I have a strawberry, mango, grape, and napolitana. I would like a um, napolitano. Could you send it to Santa Ana, please? <laughs> no, no, tampoco se manda. Of course. What would, what would your pay? What would your payment method be? It will be cash, or I will pay cash. Mm -hmm. Okay, it will be twelve ninety nine. No, okay, thanks, no problem. Okay, perfect. What would your payment method be? Payment method be very good. Now, did everyone participate right now? Yes, right. Dun, dun, dun. Manuel Alfredo, did you participate? No. No, okay. Who was with you? Okay. Carla, okay. Hello. I would like to know if you have a uh, 42-inch LG rank smart TV. Hello, well, you are looking for aval, aval, available with whom I have the pleasure. My name is Manuel Alfredo Ventura. Nice to meet you, Mr. Manuel. Let me tell you that we have the product you are looking for at a good, a good price. We currently have it, it on sale at $599. It seems to me a very good offer. As is the purchase process online? The process is that I will send you a payway lead link so that you can provide all your car information and process the payment. The, this process safeguard all your person, personal information. When the payment is mad, you will receive a, me, a message in your email about the transaction. Thank you very much, Miss Carla, for your help. Mr. Mr. Manuel, will you, will you pick up your product in a store or do you need it a home. I will pick it up at the store very keen. I was a pleasure to have been able to help you with your purchase. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Now, this is the problem. This is the problem, Carla and Emmanuel. Eh, sorry, Manuel, when we translate the conversations, okay? cuando traducimos las conversaciones de español a inglés, se dan problemas de estructura. 
¿ok? Porque ya les he dicho que de, hablamos de una forma en inglés y de otra forma en español. Las estructuras no son igual. ¿Ok? En español okay. es más largo y todo, entonces eso se nota en la conversación. ¿Ok? Now, uh, can you please put the conversation, Eugenia? Ponga la conversación. I will show you the first one. Just the first one. It says, hello, good afternoon. Let me see if we have the product you're looking for available. Let me see if we have available the product you're looking for. With whom do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Right? We have things that we're missing there. Right? Si lo traducimos de inglés, usted pega esa oración. Ahorita inglés, en un traductor se lo va a dar como usted lo dice en español. Right? Entonces está con palabras en inglés, pero está como lo decimos en español. Ok? So let's try to make our conversation. No importa si son sencillas. De eso se trata, de ir escalando. Ahorita las hago sencillas porque estoy en cuarto módulo, en el quinto un poquito más complicada, en el sexto y así. Para el avanzado, ya hacer estructuras más complicadas. Thank you so much, Carla and Manuel. Now. Okay. Now we're going to continue with our book. Right? We finished the conversation, so thank you so much. Now we're going to practice another conversation here, right? That we have from the book. We have a Linda and Juan, right? We have Linda and Juan. So Linda here, right? Listen to me and then I will ask right now two people to help me. That would be Pablo, you're going to be Juan. And Sara, you're going to be Linda. Okay, Sara? So pay attention. Thank you so okay. much. Okay. Thanks so, thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the Pro Washer? Of course. It has a capacity of 5.2 CU, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of it is for, right? Now, let's just start right now, right? And let's go. Pablo and, and uh, Sal. Thank you so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Can you give me some, some information about the Power Pro Washer? Of course. It has a cap capacity of 5.2. Cool fit a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry, could you repeat that please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of the of it is for Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Now we're just going to repeat these two words. Information. 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 Keyboard. 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 Exactly. Thank you so much. Now, Pablo, choose another student. Sara, choose another person too. Um, Linda. Linda. Oh, do we have a oh. Linda? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks so much for calling. Linda is speaking. How can I help you? Pablo, Pablo. 
you are going to choose another student. Ah, another student. Ah, yeah, sorry. Um, eh, Emerson. Emerson. Very good. Sara. And Oscar. Oscar. Okay. Oscar and Emerson. Let's see. Ready? Thanks so much for calling, Linda. He is speaking. How can I help you? Hi, Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It's a capacity of 5.2, oh, a turbo processor, and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of EC4. Of it, it's four. Very good, Oscar. Thank you, Emerson. And one more group, and we continue to the next activity. One more group. Emerson choose a person, Oscar choose another person. Okay. Daisy. Hi. Daisy, you're Linda and Oscar? Uh, Jose Alexander. Jose Alexander, okay. Jose, you're one. Hi. Daisy, you're Linda. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Linda speak speaking. How can I help you? Hi Linda. Could you give me some information about the pro washer? Of course. It has a capacity uh, of 5.2. Uh, good a, a turbo processor and an intelligent keyboard. I see. Can you give me information about the warranty? I'm sorry. Could you repeat that, please? Can you give me information about the warranty? Thanks. The warranty of, of it is for. It is for. Uh -huh. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, what are we using here? Right. If we pay attention to the conversation between Linda and Juan, right, we're using can and could, right? What is the difference between can and could in this conversation? What is the difference? What can you see there as a difference? The time. The time, okay, the time, that's one. What's another one? Read the conversations. Read it and tell me what is the difference between can and could. Let's see in the chat. Can is informal, very well. Thank you, Luis Javier. Can is informal. Very good. So what happens to could? If we have can and could, what happened to could? What is the function of could in this case? Could is polite. Very well, Emerson, right? Could is polite. Now that's the difference, right? Now, when you're working, right? When you're working, pretty much you are trying to be polite, 
with the clients, with the customers, right? The people who work in customer service, they know that you have to be mm, very polite, but the customers, they don't care, right? They are just like, okay, whatever, like one. I just need this and this is what I want, right? So we need to be very careful when we speak in this case, using can and could. Now, usually we use can for present situations. That's for sure, right? But we're going to also use could for polite situations. So we have can for speaking daily with our friends, with our family, but you're going to use could and polite. That's it. That's the only purpose of can and could, and that's the big difference that we are going to see, right? Do you understand that? No? Do you understand that or no? Not at all. I need you to tell me. Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes, miss. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, we're going to put here, right, some examples. First, we're going to continue with the questions that we have from you know from the book right we have three questions based on this conversation so let's answer the questions right can you read question number one franco question number two uh, joanna and question number three elena what's that juan juan to i Uh, what question can you say instead of repeat? Very well. Elena? Are the customer on the agent polite or impolite? Why? Why? Very good. Let's answer those three questions individually right now based on the conversation. You have two minutes, two minutes, two minutes to answer. Let me know whenever you finish.
You finish? Are you done with the activity? Not yet? Okay, let's wait. Okay, so let's get started here, right, with the answers. What do you have for number one? Answer number one. What does Juan want to buy, Vladimir? Juan wants to buy a pro washer. Juan wants to buy a dishwasher. A, the pro washer. Pro washer, pro washer. washer. Okay, pro washer. I think I think a pro washer in this case will be a, this uh, a washing machine. I think. Yes. Right. But one wants to buy a pro washer. Very good. Number two. What question can you say instead of repeat, Bernardo? Uh, I guess. Could you be, um, could you tell me again? Okay, and in the conversation, what is the converse, what is the, 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 the phrase that they use, the question? She said, could you repeat that please? Could you repeat that please, exactly. Okay, listen to this, listen to this. Eduardo, what's your last name? What's your last name? My last name. What's your last name, Eduardo? I understand. Last name, last yes. name. What's your My last name? My last name. Yes, sir. Franco Nunez. Okay, Nunez. Okay, when you say Nunez, I would say repeat. It sounds too strong, right? So you say, could you repeat that, please? Right? Do you see the difference between just saying repeat, Franco? No, right? Could you repeat that, please? It sounds more polite. Thank you, Franco. Thank you so much. Now, we need to use phrases like this. Could you repeat that, please? To sound polite. Now, question number three. What's the answer, Oscar? Where is Oscar? He left? Oh, no, he's there. Okay. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, question number three. Are the consumer and the agent polite or impolite? Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Why? And because they use polite words. Not polite words. 
they use polite words. For example. Uh, in the, I'm sorry, could you repeat that please? It is polite. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that please? It's polite. It's polite. Very good. Now, this is the phrase, right? Excellent. That's a good answer, Oscar. Very good. Now, I think they are both, right? Polite and impolite, right? Uh, because they use can, could, so that's perfect. Questions about this conversation right now? Questions about the conversation? No questions. No Okay, very good. So now we're going to work right now with the exercises from our book, page 22, right? We keep on practicing pronunciation, right? Uh, Emerson, can you read the examples for Ken? And Francisco Lopez, read the examples for food. And good. Okay, miss. I can give you my personal information. She can't pay for the washes right now. Can I have your credit card number? Can you tell me how many items do you need? Thank you. Francisco? Okay, uh, cool. Uh, you could try with another credit card. Uh, they couldn't give you my bill, billing address. Uh, could you spell your last name? Could we check the, the title of my order? Of my order. Okay, very good. Oh. Let's check this in this uh, phrases. Washer. Items. Okay. Now, please repeat with me, Joanna. Washer. Washer. Items. Items. Billing address. Billing address. Details of my order. Details of my order. Order. Yeah, thank you so much. Can you repeat those phrases, Emerson? Can pay. Watch it. Eden's. Mm -hmm. Billings others. Details of the order. My orders. Okay. Very good. Items, repeat. Items. Items, excellent. Read the same phrases, please. Uh, what's the other person? <gasps> Se me olvido. Más Alzheimer. Um, ¿Quién era el otro? Francisco, Francisco. Read, please, the phrases. Mm -hmm. What is the hook? Those phrases. Can't pay. Can't pay. Washer. The washer. Items. Items. Billing address. Billing address. Details of my order. Details of my order. Very well, thank you so much. So right now, before I forget, so these are examples, right? Let me just call the attendance. Vamos a pasar asistencia antes de continuar. Got here, Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Present. Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Alvarez. Present teacher. Eduardo Franco Núñez. 
Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Present. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Present. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla García. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Mi teacher. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. José Bernardo López Montes. Present teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Calante Enríquez. Luis Javier Castillo. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Present teacher. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present teacher. Sara Digaí López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Present. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Very good. So, let me see here. Present Carol y present Javier. Excellent job. ¿Me faltó alguien? No, ¿verdad? No. Ok, let's continue. So, we have here with Ken and Kud, it says that we're going to complete questions. So, pretty much, they are just giving us the auxiliary and the subject, right? Now, we're going to create the rest of the question and a possible answer to that question. So I'm gonna make one, right? Can you bring the new iPad to work faster? Yes, I can. Or I can say, mm, no, I can't. It is broken. Let's use a tablet. Okay, now. These are my possible answers, right, for the first question. Now, this is what you're going to do. You can make a positive answer or a negative answer, but try to write as much as you can, right? We have four questions and four answers that we're gonna make. Let's just start right now. Let's do this. Let's do it. And please tell me if you have questions. Tell me if you have questions too, please, so I can help you.
Do you finish? No yet. Okay. Your silence is telling me no, but if you have questions, tell me. Okay, let's check the answers. Now, what do you have for number one, Alexander? Or give me one of your questions, pretty much. Okay. Uh, in the number three, for, for example, I have, can you talk me about the new project? Okay. Uh, the answer is, yes, I can we could have a meeting for talk about it okay very good can you can you tell me about the project tell me and then we can have a meeting to talk about it okay make the changes thank you jose next person who is next jose bernardo bernardo you're next tell us another question Write the question in the chat, Alexander. Okay. okay, teacher. Could you lend me your cell phone, please? Yes, I could. No, I couldn't. It has no battery. Okay, very good. Could you lend me your cell phone? Very good. For I would say, for what? Why do you need it for? Very good, Fernando. Who's next? Um, Joanna. Joanna, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, could you study um other MBA the other year? No. Oh. <laughs> Very good. What's your answer? <laughs> uh, for me. Yes, I can. <laughs> okay, but you say, could you? Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, no, I can. Okay, repeat your question. 
Could you study other MBA, other MBA the other year? Could you? Could. So what's your answer? Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I could. Yes, I could. could. Exactly. Now, mm -hmm. could you study another MBA next year? Next year. Okay. Next. Very good. Who's next, Joanna? Uh, other person. Yep. Um, okay. Uh, Carla. Okay, Carla. Write your example, Bernardo and Joanna, please. Uh -huh. um, could you buy me a sport uniform? Yes, I could. No, I could not. I don't have money to buy. Okay, very good. Thank you, Eugenia. And who's next? And um, Manuel Alfredo Hernández. Okay, Manuel. Okay. Can you please prepare the breakfast in the morning? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I can the breakfast in the morning. Okay, very good. Thank you, Manuel. Write your examples. Who's next? Manuel. One more person. Uh, Pablo Abrego. Pablo Abrego, your example. Okay. Uh, can, you, can you tell the secretary to print the document? Yes. Mm -hmm. I tell the secretary. No, I tell the secretary to print the document. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Now, write your examples, please, in the chat so we can continue. Now, we have nine minutes, right? We cannot make the phone call. We're going to do this tomorrow. That's okay, right? But remember that we're going to work on vocabulary, right? Now, this is uh, actually an example of a survey, right? A survey is, for example, when you buy a product, right? For example, I bought the product from Amazon, right? So they always send a survey to see if I say, oh yes, this product is cool. Or say, no, this is bad, mm -mm. right? So I need to complete a survey. And that's very common when it comes to, to products online, right? You can go ahead and give a survey or not. Or for example, do you have a Claro phone? When you have Claro and you make phone calls to Claro to pay or to check on your saldo, right? Oh. And after you make a phone call, you automatically receive a survey on your email. It says, we want to know if you're satisfied with Claro service. So please answer the survey, blah, 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 right? So it's the same. So tomorrow we're going to do that as well. Now, based on this, right, I would like to know if you have questions, will you pay with credit card? No, I couldn't because I don't have a credit card. <laughs> okay, don't have a credit card. Never, never, never. Okay. Nobody has questions? Could you learn French in a month? No. I couldn't. French. French, capital letters. Okay, so let's make a quick exercise right now so we can think quickly about can and could, right? Before we go. Can you see my computer? Yes, teacher. Okay, now here, 
We have short answers, right? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Yes, I could. No, I couldn't. But I want you to look at the question that I will give you and try to give more information, right? For example, here that uh, Alexander wrote the answer. Um, could you buy me a sporty uniform? No, I couldn't. I don't have money to buy, Carla. Or no, I couldn't. It has no battery, right? Or yes, I could. Updating is very important. So you give more information. So what I want you to do is to give more information, right? Now, I know that you will make mistakes. It doesn't matter. You say que van a ser errores. No importa. Okay. Eduardo, could, could Joanna and Carla go shopping? Yes, I could. Look at the, the computer. Could Joanna and Carla go shopping? No, no, I couldn't. No, they couldn't. No, they couldn't. Perdón. Why? Uh, for for the weather is rain. Okay, because it is raining. Yes, because it is raining. Thank you, Franco. Very good job. Thank you. You see, just like that. Okay, I see. Simply. Okay, let's continue. Sara de Gail, can a bat fly? El animalito del COVID, can a bat fly? Acuérdese el animalito del COVID. Que le echamos la culpa por nada. That's a bat. What is a bat? What is a bat? bat. Um, Murcielago. Yes. Very good. So can a bat fly? Yes. 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 He, he fly. fly. Yes. Okay. Yes. It can fly. Right? It can fly. Okay. Okay. Very good. Elena. Um, can you swim? Can you swim? No, no I cannot. Why? Why can't you swim? Huh? Why not? In my case, um, I can't swim. No. Why? Why not? I don't learn. No. Okay. I couldn't learn in the past. I couldn't learn before. Very good. I couldn't learn before. Uh, let's see, Bernardo. Uh, could your brother drive a car last year? Uh, no, he can't because I don't have a brother. <laughs> no, he couldn't, right? He couldn't, sorry. Because you don't have a brother, okay. Now let's see, Emerson. Could people walk on the moon in 1969? Yes, could be. Because make a rocket. Okay, very good. Yes. Yes. They could, right? They could. Mm -hmm. They make a flying rocket. That's right. Uh, Carla Eugenia, could, let's see, can fish swim, Carla Eugenia? No, I can fish. No, can fish swim? 
Fish are the animals that are very delicious when we <laughs> No. No, fish can swim. No. Are you sure? No. Yes. This is a fish. Can fish swim? Mm -hmm. Swim in the water. Oh, excuse me. Uh, yes, yes, I can. Yes, fish yes. can. Yes, fish can. Very good. And the last question goes to Vladimir. Vladimir, can, can your wife cook? Yes, she can cook. Okay, what does she cook? Yeah, all kind of food. Okay. Mexican food, Italian food, uh, Salvadorian food. Yes. Nice. Ahí está, por está diciendo así. Okay. <laughs> very good excellent. Excellent. excellent so now that's what i want you to do very good job everyone very very good job okay poquito poco now we're going to stop here right with the class today is day number eight i guess i guess it's day number eight let me check yesterday i was supposed to be with elena Today is the day for. Ayer se quedó usted, Emerson. No, verdad. Imelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Today is the day for Imelda. She's not here. So if you want to stay, you can stay for a class, right? For 10 minutes. Si alguien se gusta quedar, se puede quedar. Ay, ¿cómo no? Ahí se Imelda, ya la vi. Ok. Entonces, Imelda, le corresponde a usted. Si se va a quedar, nos avisa. Y si no, pues, se puede quedar alguien más también. Okay. Have a beautiful night, everyone. I see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you, teacher. Bye, teacher. Bye, teacher. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Joana. Hi, Imelda. Do you have questions about today's class?